So every good range routine in the winter starts with two things for me, a cup of coffee and some hand warmers. Pick up some of these in the pro shop, give them a quick shake, put them in your pockets and if you're cold standing around a little bit, these will keep your hands nice and warm for when you're hitting some shots. So when you come to the range, you want to make sure that you have some sort of routine when you're hitting golf balls. Now, I took a bit of inspiration from Tiger's routine. He used to start with a sand wedge, he'd go to his eight iron, four iron, three wood driver. Then he would go back and rehearse what he was going to hit off the first tee. They would hit a couple of 60 degree wedges, then he'd head out in the golf course. Now, my advice to you, follow something similar to that. So you can start with your sand wedge. So I've got my 56 here, hit a few shots, nice and easy. Next up, grab yourself a mid iron, and we're just going to make the swing progressively longer. We're going to hit the golf ball a little bit harder. That's just going to warm us up a little bit. And what I would do is just hit each club maybe four or five times, just to get a feel for what it is that you're trying to do. It's cold in the winter. We need to warm ourselves up properly, especially in Scotland. I don't know where you guys are playing, but pretty cold out here. If you're going out to play a game with your mates on a Saturday for the medal, you want to try and take a few quid off them, you might as well be warmed up. So we've got a long iron there, and then we'll move into the driver. And this is us, we're into full swings now. See if we can get a swing going with the driver, see if we can catch some fairways out there. And then what I would do is just rehearse the shot I'm going to hit off the first tee. And that's just going to help me build a little bit of confidence, I can get the day started right, and hopefully find a fairway. Now, one of the things that I love about the winter is that you can finally start implementing some of those swing changes that you're making because you don't want to be making those changes on the golf course in the middle of the season when you're trying to score. Now, a good way to try and ingrain those changes, for instance, if I wanted to start swinging the golf club out to the right and start drawing the ball, what I would do is just rehearse that shot very, very slowly. And I would just get a feel for what it is that I'm trying to do. And you can even just hit your shots like that. So hit them around 25%. 30% of what you usually would do. 25% swing for me looks like this, I would say. Nice and easy, swinging out to the right. And I'm gonna try and get that ball to turn over from right to left, because I'm trying to draw the golf ball. So whatever change you're trying to make, just do that on the range, just to get you started. Then you can build it up to about 50%. And again, we're just gonna keep getting quicker and quicker each time. And again, just good for warming up the body a little bit, so we're not too stiff freezing cold in the winter out there so we'll go 75 this time not the best strike in the world that's another thing you don't have to worry about the strike when you're doing this because you're trying to make these changes during a time when you're not playing that much competitive golf it doesn't really matter what you score everyone wants to play well but during the winter you can kind of get away with it and then in the summer you'll be ready to go out there cut that handicap by a couple of shots so we'll go up to about 90 percent now There we go. Just pick out the thing that you're working on, whatever it might be. Could be your swing plane, could be your angle of attack. But what I suggest you do, whatever change you're trying to make, just do it nice and slowly and build it up over time. Now, unfortunately, in the winter, soggy, wet conditions, chipping on the chipping green or the practice green isn't always a good idea. So. Here's something that you can do if you're at a range and there's a mat with a tee, or if you're lucky enough to practice off some grass like we are here at Glen Eagles, what you can do is tee a golf ball up. It's gonna give you a perfect lie. And what you can work on is trying to brush the golf ball off the tee. So it's gonna help you get that kind of shallower angle of attack. It's gonna stop that leading edge from digging in because when we're playing in the winter or even in the summer, you don't want that to happen. That's gonna cause you to catch the ball quite heavy. So I like to do this drill in the winter, just keep my chipping going brushing some golf balls off that tee. And as I say, you're just trying to get that bounce working for you underneath here. It makes it a little bit easier to do that. And you can just hit a variety of shots, hit them from different spots to different targets. Because as everyone knows, it tends to be your short game that goes first through the winter. So try this. Another thing to think about with your short game, how much do you think about landing spots, where you're actually gonna land the golf ball? This is one thing that a lot of people do forget, and I think this is really handy. You wanna pick out a landing spot, and then you can release the golf ball from there to the flag. Now, take a towel to the range, drop it down in a spot, and then you can just work on hitting your chip shots to there. 
and it's just going to build consistency. See how many times you can hit that spot over and over again. We're just hitting three or four shots. Try and land them on the till. There you go. First time round, not too bad. And don't worry about the strike too much. You're not going to catch it perfectly every time, especially if you're practicing off like a range mat or something like that. But what we're trying to do is just see if we can kind of land it roughly in the same spot over and over again. And this is just a really good habit to get into when you start playing again during the summer. And you can change it up, get some different clubs. You can hit some bump and runs, bring the till closer, put it further away. But all it's going to get you to do is get used to trying to land it on a spot. Now, one of the things that you absolutely have to get right with every club in the bag is good balance. And this is a good time to work on it through the winter. This is one of my favorite things to do during my winter range routine. Grab yourself a towel, roll it up, put it on the ground, a reasonable length away from the golf ball, whatever club you're hitting. So if you're hitting the driver, you want the ball further out here. I'm just gonna hit a seven iron here, so I'll bring it a little bit closer to me. What you're gonna do is stand on the towel and hit some shots. Now, you're gonna look like a bit of a weirdo on the range. Don't worry about it. They won't be laughing when you're striping it when the summer comes. Now what this does is it just makes you feel like you're a little bit off balance. So you really have to work to keep your balance. You're really working on the soles of your feet to make sure that you don't fall over with every golf shot that you hit. Now what you'll find is if you hit five or six shots like this, just trying to stay as steady as you possibly can, hit one more, and when you take the towel away, you'll be amazed at how balanced you feel. So yeah, I would hit five or six shots like that, take the towel away and because you've been moving around you've been fighting to keep your balance you're just going to do that naturally when the towel isn't there you're back on an even keel and, and you feel like it's a lot easier to keep your balance now it might sound a bit crazy but there is method to the madness give this one a shot and make sure you let me know how you get on with that in the comments i guarantee that you'll feel far more balanced with every club in the bag and you'll be catching those irons those drivers right out the middle So there you go, a really simple winter range routine. Make sure you're doing this every time you're practicing through the winter and I promise you, come next season, you'll be ready to play the best golf you've ever played. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up as well.